Imagine being able to build a fully working app with authentication, payments, databases, and even hosting without writing a single line of code. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, that's exactly what Mocha promises. And in this deep dive, I'm going to show you how it works step by step and then give you my honest review, the good, the bad, and who it's really for. So if you've ever dreamed of launching your own app but don't know how to code, this is for you. Mocha is an AI-powered no-code app builder. Instead of learning complicated programming languages or juggling multiple platforms, you can literally just describe your app in plain English, and Mocha builds it for you. And it's not just a pretty mock-up either. It's the full-stack back-end logic, authentication, databases, payments, hosting, all included. Think of it as the Canva or Figma of app development, but with real functionality baked in. Here's how it works. First, you. When you head over to the Mocha homepage and click on the Join Mocha, it's free button. The platform takes you directly into the setup process. After signing up, you'll land on a clean dashboard where you can see the apps section. Since it's your first time, the screen looks very minimal with just one big option in the center that says Create App. This is your starting point. Everything you build begins here. When you click on Create App, Mocha immediately asks you the core question. What do you want to build? You'll see a big input box where you can type your idea in plain English. There's also an option to attach files if you want to give Mocha references, and you can set your project to be public or private, depending on whether you want others to discover it. After you type, I want an app where users can browse yoga classes, see available times, and book a slot online, and hit the submit arrow. Mocha opens the builder. The large area on the left is your live preview canvas. At first, you'll see a brain icon with the message, working on it, your app is being created. The preview will appear once it's ready. That means Mocha is provisioning the backend, creating pages, wiring the database, and setting up auth. At the very top right, you'll also see a small spinner that says Mocha is working, so you know it's still generating. On the right side is the conversation panel. Your prompt appears there as the first message, timestamped. Immediately under it, you'll see a short status like initializing or reasoning. This is Mocha parsing your request and planning the build. You don't need to do anything here yet. This is just feedback that the system understood your goal. Next, Mocha replies with a build plan in plain English. In your case, it proposes creating a yoga class booking app and even suggests a project name, Zenflow. The reply describes exactly what it's going to include. User authentication, a clean database for classes and time slots, and an intuitive booking interface to browse schedules and reserve spots. Think of this as your spec sheet generated from the single prompt. Once Mocha finished building the project, I could see my app live in the preview on the left. It already looked like a polished yoga booking website with a clean design, a welcoming headline that said, find your flow, and sections for upcoming classes. On the right-hand panel, Mocha gave me a full breakdown of what it had just built. It explained the core features user authentication, a booking system, Google sign-in, class availability tracking, and more. At the bottom, there was also a line that read, 11 changes made, which showed me exactly how many updates and files Mocha had generated in the background to bring the app to life. This stage is really about checking if the app matches your vision before you move forward. When I was satisfied with the result, I clicked on the Publish button at the top. A pop-up window appeared where I could set the app's details before going live. It showed me the unique Mocha link for my project, and I could choose whether to make it public or keep it private. There was also a little toggle to decide if I wanted Mocha's watermark on the app. After reviewing those options, I hit the Publish App button, and the app immediately started deploying. Once the publishing was complete, I had a working live version of my app at its own URL. That meant anyone with the link could now visit Zenflow, browse classes, and even try booking a slot. Mocha also gave me the option to submit the project to its Spotlight section, which is basically a showcase where other people can discover what you've built. And just like that, without touching a single line of code, I had gone from typing out a simple idea to launching a real, functional app on the web.
and that's my deep dive into Mocha. I showed you what it is, how it works, and gave you my honest review. Now I want to hear from you what kind of app would you build if you could do it without coding. Drop your ideas in the comments, and I'll be replying to as many as I can. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next deep dive into the future of no-code and AI tools. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.